video will just really talk about the time frame for supply decision, which is the second part that uh, influences the elasticity of supply. Now, uh, studying the influence of amount of time elapsed since price change, we can distinguish three frames of supply, and they are momentary supply curve, long run supply curve, and short run supply curve. Let's go through all three of them, with starting with momentary supply curve. Now, the momentary supply curve is perfectly inelastic. That means when the price of a good rises or falls, the momentary supply shows response of the quantity supplied following or immediately following the price change. So, for example, let's talk about fruits and veggies. These uh, items have perfectly uh, inelastic, inelastic momentary supply momentary supply so it's it's a vertical supply curve pretty much a vertical supply curve so the quantity supplied the quantity supplied the quantities supplied really depends on the crop planting decisions made earlier in the year so, for example, let's t let's take oranges. Oranges. Um, these oranges. Uh, well, the planting decisions. The planting decisions for oranges. Oranges are made in advance. The momentary supply curve. Supply curve is vertical because. On a given day, no matter uh, how the price change, no matter how the price changes for oranges, that is, no matter how the price changes for oranges, the producers cannot change the output because he only has this, that many orange oranges. No matter how much the price changes, he can't increase the quantity supplied or he can't decrease the quantity supplied. He only has what he has. So uh, the quantity available for that day is fixed. So fixed quantity. Okay, now let's use, do another example just to make sure you understand. So example, uh, so let's talk about long distance uh, phone calls. They are an example of perfectly, perfectly elastic momentary supply. When many people simultaneously, simultaneously uh, make a call, make a call, there is a big demand for resources. Now, when there's such a big demand in resources, we can increase the quantity supplied. So we can increase quantity supplied. And then the price could remain constant. That is because in the case of phone calls, our resources is pretty much people. We can just hire more people to increase our quantity of supply. That's why, um, f that's why for long distance phone calls, the, it, it, the, moment the momentary supply is perfectly elastic. Now let's have a short talk about long run supply curve. Now the long run supply curve is the most elastic uh, curve and shows the response to uh, or it shows the response to a price change. What am I writing here? So it's the response uh, of quantity supplied to a price change after all technologically possible ways of adjusting supply halves have been exploited. So right, um, what you need to know here is that every possible way of making things better has already been made. So that's the idea behind the long run supply curve. And um, in some cases, in some cases, long run adjustment occurs only after a new production plant has been built and workers are trained to operate it operate it and this is a process that really takes year that takes years so the idea behind this is 
um, people get better at what they're doing. And the, what they're doing is all you can do. So pretty much all the ways that we can think of to make things better have already been made and the people who made those changes uh, know very well what they're doing. And that's the idea behind long run supply curve. Now, short run supply curve is somewhat elastic and shows how quantity supplied responds to a price change only when some of the technologically possible adjustments to production have been made. So the keyword here is some. In long run supply curve, the keyword was all after all technologically possible ways. Now in short run, it's some of the technologically possible uh, adjustments. Mm, pretty much, uh, we're not thinking of Every single ca uh, case of making things better have been made. We're only thinking of uh, some of the things we could do to make things better being made. And uh, short runs response, pretty much short short run response to a price change is a sequence of adjustments. And the first adjustment is usually made. Um, uh, with respect to with respect to labor employed to increase the output the output to increase output in the short run in the short run uh, firms work their labor overtime work their labor overtime and may hire additional labor Okay, but if they don't want that much labor, they can also decrease the output in the short run. And firms could either lay off workers or reduce hours. So these two things really could help short run. We could hire more uh, labor, and um, they could do more if if all we want to do. If, if if improvement is really to output more quantity, then we could just hire more people and they could like work on our assembly line and we could output more. But um, in the short run, if we want to make things technologically better, if we need to use our heads, then we could just lay off our workers that are, that are outputting uh, goods in our assembly line and we can really focus on the research and development where we just need less workers but more more brains to figure out a way to make uh, to make things more efficient or uh, to make uh, output uh, to make up more output than we uh, we currently have and that's the idea behind that so let's just go through an example so the price let's say the price of oranges uh, fell. Now growers can stop picking, uh, can stop picking oranges and leave oranges to rot, on to, and leave oranges to rot on trees. This, in this way, they can save uh, money, save labor, save money on labor, and um, they could just leave the oranges and uh, just sell the oranges that they have at the current price. But let's say that price of oranges rose. When they, when the price of oranges rises, then the growers, the growers, can use more fertilizer, use more fertilizer and improved irrigation uh, to increase, to increase the yields of existing trees. And in the let's in the long run. In the long run, they can always they can always plant more trees and increase quantity supplied even more in response to a given to a given price rise. And that's all I really want to go through in this video. Uh, I don't really think that these um, supply curves are especially important. Uh, the most important parts of Today's video would probably be the definition that short run supply curve is somewhat elastic, and uh, yeah, the, just the definition I have here, here, and here, and 
all the other examples are just there to help you really understand the concept behind them. Now, uh, this is the end of this chapter. I really hope you enjoyed uh, the chapter on elasticity. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.